What's up, y'all? <sighs> we had such a great and busy week. What is today? Sunday? So weekend, weekend. Um, hopefully y'all are cool with this being a pre-recorded video. We've got so much to do and catch up with before Monday rolls around. You know how it goes. Oh, good old Monday. I've got about a zillion emails to answer, so I hope you guys aren't too upset with us for being busy this weekend, and I haven't gotten any emails answered yet, but I will. That will be my top priority tomorrow, along with getting the rest of some orders out. I've also got to finish inventory tonight, which will be amazing. Who doesn't love doing inventory? Anyways. I don't want to leave you guys high and dry without a video, so here I am. Jeff is um, heading towards a vigil for a friend of ours. Um, she's not doing so hot, so we're going to go give our support to her and her family while she recovers. Also, it is super chilly here, which is fine. It's not as chilly as it was in Oregon. Not that it was that chilly, but it's colder than it usually is here. So that's fun. Also, we got to meet Laura Taylor, who is an absolute doll. And she's dealing with those fires out in Paradise, California. Goodness, so much going on right now. So, when there's a lot going on, you can always just turn to art. Just get your mind off of it, or get perspective. I don't know, I've always just turned to art when life got a little too crazy and you just want to slow down and enjoy something. So right now it's super quiet in our loft and I'm gonna get my art on. Oh, I do apologize for not getting to emails as promptly as I would like. At least Austin was here this week to get orders out while we were gone. Did you guys get a chance to see those two new colors, the teal and the purple? Um, if there's enough demand for those, then Stonecoat will carry them. Just shoot them an email, let them know if you liked either of those colors or just comment below and I will screenshot it and let Stonecoat know whether you guys are interested in those shades or not. Because if, you know, they're not popular, then just make new colors. I like them a lot. Jeff, of course, favored the teal and I, of course, favored the purple. They did sell like the other base tints, the black and the white, so that was amazing. I don't have a rag, of course not. <sighs> okay, so the colors I'm working with tonight are Midnight Violet by Just Resin. I'm also using Electric Blue Powder by Artisu and Bright Gold from Artisu. Actually, I haven't used the bright gold in a long time since Just Resin's bright gold came out, but I want to leave enough on the shelves for y'all so I didn't go break out a new one of those. I don't know what it is about a blue, some sort of reddish color, and some kind of yellow color that's just my favorite combination of colors. Oh, I didn't make any white. What am I doing with my life? Gotta mix a little bit more, y'all. Sorry. Okay, by a little bit more, apparently I mean a lot more. Oops. I also, while we were up there, learned a new technique about, and I know some of you guys have told us we should um, like use spray paint and spritz over the alcohol, like the metallic wash alcohol. 
And we never do it just because we weren't really that versed in it. But this week we did a couple projects up at Stonecoats where now I think we'll feel a little bit more comfortable with that method. So you might see that a little bit more here. I'm still not 100% how it turns out the way it does, but it definitely gives a unique look that I don't know how one would get any other way. Okay, let's well not over pour. It's not over pour. It's so different not being able to like read what you guys are saying. But it's fine. Let's see what else is new. Um, I went and picked up Moo today. He is right by my feet as per usual. He loves going over to a sitter's house though. Her name is Tressa. You guys have seen her on the channel before. She has a cute little redhead, but she has a bunch of dogs back home that Cujo just loves to play with. They always have a good time. I think I'm gonna have her come up here this weekend and guest on the show, and bring one of her pups up, spend some time with Moo. Also, we started watching a new show that I don't know if I can say on the, it's spelled S-C-H-I-T-T-S -T -T Creek, and it's a comedy. I think it's on like Pop Channel, but we just started watching it on Netflix, and it's kind of hilarious. It's not as offensive as the name lends itself, but I don't know. Check it out. See if you like it. Let me know. Also, we got a lot of really neat ideas for upcoming videos. I'm gonna finally finish the table, the geo table that I've been working on forever. I figured out how to attach the legs without adding some kind of weird base to it. So that's a good thing. So this color is white base tint from Stone Coat. It doesn't take a lot. In fact, I recommend using as little of it as possible so that your cells stay and don't continue to grow so far that they just turn into kind of like weird blobs. Also, don't forget y'all that we are doing the Artist Summit, Artisan Summit in Vegas. I think it's April 3rd weekend. I have to give a 45 minute speech, which I have no idea what I will say or talk about. So that's fun. It's so different if I'm talking just like here with y'all instead of up in front of thousands of people. Cause I like, I have this to distract me with if I don't, like, don't know what I'm talking about, but if like people are standing in front of me watching what I'm saying, it's so different. I'm not intimidated by it. I'm just very confident in the fact that I'm not a public speaker. I also showed a whole bunch of people my Super swipe technique at our meet and greet up at Stone Coat, which I loved. Because who doesn't like showing people new techniques? I know I do. Let's see. I also painted my largest piece to date. Oh, I don't even know how big that board was. It was like the size that a countertop would be. And to be super honest, I wasn't sold on how it looked at first, but then it kind of came to life after really, really re reworking it a few times.
and it looked very interesting. But anyways, it was a fun experience and I'm super glad we had the opportunity to go up there. Now we get to just relax and get ready for our new adventures that seem to be coming up faster and faster and faster. I need an assistant for real. Can't even handle how pretty these colors are together. So I hope Austin took care of y'all while we were gone. Please let me know if that is not the case so I can talk about it with our little helper. Nope. That would have been bad. Let's hit some heat on this. So sure about this one y'all but we'll see hmm let's see what can we do here let's do a dirty pour because I haven't done one of those in a long time. I also have plenty of resin left over if we need to back up and regroup. Make more of a color. Always be cautious of how much gold you add to a piece because it can and will take over. I just love how these ribbons look. They remind me of like those old school candies that I can't really remember the name of off the top of my head, but you know. You know what I mean. Sorry, I'm not talking a lot, y'all. We also got a whole bunch more um, of the round boards in, so I'll be adding to the website shortly. It's a little bit more interesting, I think. Let's put some heat on it and see what happens. Add some of this gold dust if I can get it open. Y'all, 
First world problem. Okay. Let's just add a little. I don't know if I just messed it up or just added a new dynamic to it. Uh, let's see. Maybe I should have gone with the flow of the piece instead of rogue like that. But, I don't know, maybe we'll like it. Well, if I was going for something different, I feel like I probably maybe nailed it because this is nothing like I was going for. Unless you just count it as something different. It's like, I don't mind it. Definitely different. Definitely different. Go put this bad boy away. So it looks like I have a little bit of resin left over for a couple of coasters. Oh. Let's see. Um, what else do I have to tell you guys? I'm sure I'm forgetting something very important because I tend to do that. Just forget. Um, let's see. Nope, can't think of anything. I think I told all of you guys all of the things. This violet is just too pretty. Such a deep, rich midnight color with just a subtle, like, shimmer. Brilliant. Also, we flew Alaskan Air this last time. Very interesting journey. I never have flown on Alaska before. Also, I almost took us to the wrong airport. That was exciting. We were like almost to the one that's furthest away in our town and for some reason, I decided last second to look at our, like, flight booking. Oh, it was nerve-wracking. But we got to the right airport and flew out on time. And then our, that plane ended up leaving just a little bit late and getting delayed pulling into our connecting flight airport. So we had to run through that airport to get to our next flight. Never had to do that before. That was exciting and scary all at the same time. Um, we got to wake up to beautiful geese every morning. Quite an experience, I would say. The sounds up there were lovely and we got to go see the redwoods and the beach. It was a little chilly, but completely worth it. If you've never been, highly recommend checking out the redwoods 
up there. But you've already seen all that if you're in our Facebook group or follow Jeff and I on Snapchat. It's so much easier to post to those platforms to keep you guys posted rather than YouTube because YouTube's like, you have to create a whole video. But I think they're fixing that so you can do just updates. I don't know. I feel so out of touch when I've been gone for so long. I feel super bad about it. But thank you guys for all of your patience. Also, Jeff has all of the hoodies counted and they'll be going up on the website first thing tomorrow. And I'll be answering all of the emails that I know you guys are very frustrated that I haven't gotten to yet. So that will be my priority, Mignana. I swear I have never any kind of idea when I'm doing coasters what they're going to turn out like. It's always a surprise. are kind of happy little surprises I feel like definitely fun and unique little coasters but I feel like they have to match the big ones so let's put just a little bit of this in here Just a little to tie them all together. Well, so much for that. That one came out a little bit more than I anticipated. So, there we go. Some little glitter coasters. Focus. They'll be very nice when they are all set up. So, you all rock for all of your patience and dealing with us when we're away like this. And we are going to thank you guys with a surprise coming up. But it's a surprise, so I can't tell you about it quite yet. I have all of these boards here that I have to put up on the website. It's actually a stack. So, so much so that I can't even get to that seat. But I promise it will be worth it for all y'all's patience with us while we go on little... Um, learning retreats and doing what we got to do for um, the company and the channel and I hope you guys like all the surprises that we have coming up for y'all yeah we do it all for y'all but anyways I hope you all had a good time on this quick video read all these things and we will be back on our regular schedule tomorrow it is Monday so it will be 8 p.m. Dallas United States time so that would be um, an hour and 45 minutes from right now come here miss come here come say hi come here yeah I know it come here oh it's a big boy moose says hi y'all he missed you too anyways we'll see y'all tomorrow 8 p.m. and um, yeah take care of one another we love you all bye moose says bye